Yes, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well and thank you once again for tuning in. What a day for news we have got. Um, Harry Kane by Munich Talks, James Madison, um, the deal is advancing, Harry Winks to Leicester, Tap Sobar, Van Der Ven, it is all happening. If you haven't already, please do drop a like on the video. The support on the channel has been absolutely insane the last, well, it's always been insane, but the last month I think we've had like, well, something like some videos of it, eight, 900 likes, so smash like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Where are we gonna start? Let's start with James Madison. Now, Fabrizio Romano has come out and said that we are progressing well and the deal is advancing. Fabrizio Romano also confirmed earlier on today that personal terms have been agreed between James Madison and Tottenham of around nine million euro, uh, nine million pounds, sorry, a year. Obviously, Paul O'Keefe broke this news, uh, news, news, broke this news earlier yesterday around lunchtime. So now, once Romano's confirmed it, you know how reliable he is. Everything he says basically happens. You know, um, he's extremely reliable when it comes to transfer news. He's like the guru. Um, and the deal is advancing. Now, the Athletic, uh, Charlie Eccleshare, put out earlier today that Tottenham are looking to paying up to £50 million. I think the fee is around 40 to £45 million, with add-ons getting up to £50 million. Now, there's a lot of reports coming out from Leicester, report, Leicester ITKs and sources well connected to the club that Leicester would be happy to sell James Madison for around £50 million. So for me personally, just get it done. Just please, 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 please get it done. He is an unbelievable player. You guys know how I feel about him. He's a, would be the best signing we've made in a decade. So just get this done. Also on Leicester, they are looking at apparently, or they're interested in Harry Winks. And this has sparked a huge debate because a lot of the Leicester fans are coming out and saying, oh, you know, Harry Winks, Harry Winks. But you've got to remember, you're in the championship now. Harry Winks is a championship level player. He is your level now. You're not in the Premier League. You can't be asking for the big fish anymore. You'll get back up in the Premier League and then you can get better players than Harry Winks. Could Harry Winks potentially be thrown in a deal to get James Madison? Who knows? There's also a lot of talks on Harvey Barnes. Leicester are looking for £40 million. Could we potentially throw Harry Winks into... The deal to bring Harry Winks uh, to bring uh, Harvey Barnes to Tottenham. Just get Harry Winks off the books. Get Eric Dar off the books. As I've been saying for months and months and months, give Posta a week. Sorry, give Posta the best opportunity he has at doing his job, and that is to make Tottenham a successful football club once again. I must say, everyone's saying, "Are oh, you been negative?" I've been extremely positive this window, and if we bring in the likes of Tapsoba, the likes of Van Der Ven, right? the likes of Madison, we've already brought through Vicario, who's going to be announced later today. All of a sudden, we're three or four signings away because... Because whatever reason, we're three or four signings away from getting to where we need to get to. Then you add three or four players around the squad and we're there, you know? It's... We're so reactional as fans, and we've got every right to be. The club hasn't been run the way we wanted it to be in recent years. But getting rid of the likes of Winks, Dyer, Sanchez, you know, you've got to think Van der Ven, Madison, Tapsoba, Yudoji, Romero, Poro, Kane, Son, Madison, Kulu, Richarlison. All of a sudden, you've got a well old machine. Let's talk about Harry Kane. Bayern Munich bidded. 60 million with 10 million in add-ons, 70 million euros. And it's been laughed at, apparently, by the club. And rival fans have said, take the money and run. Now, I think when it comes to Bayern Munich, they're going to come back in 100%. They're going to come back in with probably 75 million up front and 15 million or 10 million in add-ons. Daniel Levy, apparently, is looking for around 100 million all in all. Similar situation with Declan Rice. It's not necessarily, he might not necessarily be worth 100 million in the market, right? But he's worth 100 million 
to Tottenham. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, all the years ago, Wilfred Zaha, he ain't worth 80, 90 million. He's not worth that. He is to the club. And Harry Kane is priceless to Tottenham Hotspur. You know, goals on goals on goals. World, absolute world-class player. Always has been, always will be. Um, but they've bidded 60, 70 million. Apparently, um, it's been rejected, of course. Now, this is what, what I was going to say. This has spiked a lot of debate between our fans and rival fans because, because a lot of fans would take the money. Now, if it was, if it was 80 million pounds or 90, if it was 80 million pounds with 25 million in add-ons and the add-ons weren't unrealistic like Arsenal, it was if you win the Bundesliga, there's 10 or 15 million. If you get into the semi-finals or the quarter-finals of the Champions League, there's 10 million. I would take that. I think right now, with the new head scout, Leonardo, we've got a good talent ID in terms of the players we're looking for, right? We're looking for the likes of James Madison. We're looking for the likes of Tap Sober. We're looking for the likes of Van de Ven, Udoji, Poro, right? Kulu, Benson Kaur. The signings we have made would actually, I would actually sit there and go, with a director of football in place, do I trust Levy to potentially trust the head scout and director of football to go and spend that £100 million wisely? I still sit on the fence about it, but what do you do? Do you keep Harry Kane for another year and let him walk on a free, which would be catastrophically bad? Or, or do you sell him for 80 to 100 million pounds and go and buy a couple of players that can improve us right now. It's going to take two or three players to replace Harry Kane. In terms of the volume of goals he scores, in terms of the volume of assists he gets, it's not going to be a two or three. It's not going to be a two or three, uh, one or two players to replace. You're going to need one player. You're going to need more than that. We brought in Richarlison for 60 million pounds and he scored less goals last season than Dyer. So if you think Richarlison's going to be the man, yeah, you're completely deluded. Harry Kane's been a fantastic servant for this football club. Matt Law has come out and said, apparently during the England games, that he believes he can play on between his 38 and 40 years of age. I've got no doubt. I've got no doubt. Looks after himself, professional player, doesn't drink or not that I know of, doesn't smoke that I know of, never seen the press for the wrong reasons of Leeds, by example, year after year after year. England's top goal scorer, Tottenham's top goal scorer, just needs that trophy desperately. And... I think looking at it right now, what do you do with Harry Kane? Do you cash in for 80, 90 million? Do you keep him? Also, if Harry Winks, if we get rid of Winks, Sanchez, Dyer, Undon Bele, Lo Celso, a lot of these players I expect to go this window. Lo Celso is going to go 100%. Sanchez is going to go 100%. Longley's already gone. Dan Juma's already gone. Lucas is already gone. That's five players of our Deadwood already gone. And I, I, I feel for Dan Juma because I felt he was still a, a horrible card at this football club. I felt he could have his situation could have been dealt with much better. But once again, as a football club, we didn't we didn't deal with it correctly. But if we get rid of those dead, let's say we raise fifty to sixty million pounds on the Celso, and Dombele, Dyer, Sanchez, and a few others, and then you get the hundred million for Harry Kane. And you've got 150 million quid sitting there. And you've already, you've already, um, you've already booked 40 million quid's worth or 45 million quid's worth of, of James Madison in the team. What do you guys do? I think of it right now that genuinely there is um, optimism in the football club that we're going to spend some money. But you haven't even got to spend a huge amount of money to be successful. You've just got to spend the money on the right players. And Van der Ven, Tap Soba, and James Madison, and Udoji and Poro are the right sort of players. Let me know what you think. Do you think James Madison, 50 million quid, gets him? There's a lot of optimism in the football club that he's going to get done. And I will be the first person to be buzzing with James Madison. Get this done. He will be the best signing we've made in a decade. Guarantee you that. He adds everything. Um, and what's going to happen with Harry Kane, I, I am, I am, only time will tell. But listen, I'm going to wrap up. I'll be live again tonight.
around 8, 9 p.m. So make sure you look forward to that. I look forward to seeing you there. Might have a few guests on, I'm not sure yet, but it's all happening. Um, and just, yeah, stay Spurs, up the Spurs, and just hopefully that a few players get over the line and we actually have a good rest of the window. But look, I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care, and I am out of here.